Welcome everyone, today we're going to check out Ethereum for the 3090. Now this is a very expensive card, so if you bought one just to do mining, it's probably not a good idea. But if you have it, and you're doing it for, say, video work, or gaming, etc., and then you know, you can turn on to do a little mining. So let's actually see what it can do on Ethereum, considering that you're only going to be able to mine it for another... I would say another what four or five months uh, let me see if I can actually let me see if I can actually show you guys my settings let's see if you guys can see it um, so you guys can actually see the power limit there but zero to 1000 we're actually gonna take that core clock down a little bit Let's go back to TUX. There we go. All right, 89.77 to start off. Temperatures are still good. 42.90 fraction. 94 right there is not great. Let's put negative 200 on the core clock. Let's see what happens. Wow, and I've got power down to 70%. So... Now, this is actually in a gaming rig, so... These temperatures right there, that's... You know, that's still safe, but... You know, let's see. We got. I mean, it's it it, it is interesting because when you're doing on Kapow for Ravencoin, <coughs> this would be at like forty nine or fifty, but it's not here. Now we can get this up to one twenty for sure. Um, you could basically boost the memory clock up to twelve hundred and the power limit up to like 7580 the issue is that VRAM temp and obviously we haven't found a single share yet but let's see as of today and I'm writing this let's say we got 90 so basically, this is doing $5.76 a day at the current prices and everything. Profit per month is one seventy two. So these cards are $2,700, you know, and considering mining is almost done, I would not buy one of these, but 76.22, yeah, it's gone down. And, it, and the issue, guys, too, is this hash rate is going to be a little bit lower because I am also recording on this card right now so it does drain it just a little bit but these are not good specs at all alright guys let me know what you think and again don't tell me to put the power up because look at that VRAM temp it's 96 Celsius that's dangerous you know I mean it's not, it's not dangerous dangerous but you know, you push up a little bit more power. We have power at 65 right now. Actually, let's see what power does at 75. You know, you're going to cook the card. Temperature has gone up to 46. Oh, we found two shears. Look at that, huh? Let's see what the temperatures are. Let's see. Bet you they're going to be pretty warm. Let me feel the case down here. Below, yeah, 104. You see that? Yep. There it is. 104, guys. You see? That's what happens when you uh, run it up. Like I told you, put more, more, if you put more power in, you're going to run that VRAM temp right up. So definitely not safe. 
and it's that's what it is with these Zotek cards. They just run way too hot. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I would recommend if you're buying this card to keep it as a gaming card, work card, you know, lab work stuff, CAD design, etc. Video editing, rendering's perfect. It's not for Ethereum mining. If you want to, you know, spend twenty six hundred dollars to mine Ethereum, just spend twenty six hundred dollars and get Ethereum. You just buy almost a coin right now. So, alright, guys, let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.